you want your children to say no to drugs, no to premarital sex, no to so-called alternative lifestyles, then you have to give them a strong moral foundation. And that foundation begins at home. One more question. How do we counteract corrosive cultural forces like the internet and television and the media? It's not easy. You can start by buying my book. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. And God bless all of you. Unbelievable. The guy is being sued for sexual harassment and he has the gall to stand up in public and preach family values. Hasn't stopped people from buying his book. We're almost sold out. And I thought we were living in a blue state. I guess there's no such thing as bad publicity. Somebody, please, call 911. Somebody's been shot. Victim's Larry Shea. The talk show host. Book signing. Stepped outside around 9 p.m. and bang. That's one way to get out of a court date. What's up, Brody? Single gunshot wound to the back of the head. From the stippling, I'd say the shooter was one to two feet behind him. CSU found a nine millimeter casing over by the fire hydrant. Any witnesses? Uh, Shay's limo driver. That's it. So far. Thanks. Friday night, Union Square, thousands of people, there's one witness. You want to tell us what you saw, sir? I was by the car waiting for Mr. Shea. Yeah, he comes out of the store. I go around to open the door for him. I hear a shot. I look around and it's lying on the sidewalk. I see someone break out of the crowd, run into the subway. What did this person look like? Uh, dark jacket, uh, red ski cap with like a white patch on it. Short, tall, fat, skinny, black, white, male, female, what? I don't know. Kind of average. I'm sorry, it, it all happened so fast. That's okay, look, how did Mr. Shea seem to you? What do you mean? Well, was he nervous? What kind of a mood was he in? Well, he's in a great mood. He even gave me an autographed copy of his book. That's one that won't have a happy ending. We found a 9 millimeter pistol near the 17th Street entrance of the park. It's a Luger. A Luger? A real German Luger? It's a World War II souvenir. Doesn't have a serial number, but it does have a print. We're trying to match it now. Oh, well, that's a start. We also have a unit going through the trash cans and Coleman Union Square in case the shooter dumped something else. We're circulating flyers at the dorms in the area. So what do we have here? A celebrity stalker? Mark Chapman and John Lennon? Or maybe somebody who disagreed with Shay's politics. And then there's his wife, if he was hitting on his co-workers. Are you talking about the sexual harassment lawsuit? You think the woman's lying? Well, I think he's an easy target. High profile, successful TV show, and rolling and moving. I might sympathize if he wasn't on TV every night telling women their places in the kitchen. Preaching them old school politics. Yeah, like Neanderthal. Let's start with the wife, work from there. Get out of here. I keep expecting him to walk through the door. Oh, well. We're really sorry to intrude like this, Mrs. Shea. I understand. Please sit. So, uh, this is just for the record, but we need to know where you were last night. I took my son to Barney's to buy him some clothes. I can't believe we were out shopping. Well, Larry was bleeding to death on some sidewalk. Mom, I'm going out for a walk. Okay, honey. I'll see you later. Will worshipped his stepfather. Larry adopted Will when he was 10. He treated him like his own. Now, Mrs. Shea, we know that this is a sensitive issue, but we have to ask some questions about the sexual harassment lawsuit. Melinda Phelps. She made that whole thing up out of whole cloth. For the money? Not just for the money. Larry said that the trouble started when he promoted a male producer instead of her. The lawsuit was settled last week. We didn't hear anything about that. It hasn't come out yet. Trust me. She did very well. Did you have any problems with um, hate mail? Things like that? I wouldn't know. All his mail came to his office. I can't imagine who could have done this to him. How long did you work with him? Ten years. So you know Melinda Phelps? Melinda worked here for two years. Talented woman. What happened between her and Larry Shea? Larry was from a different generation. He grew up in a different time. 
His views about women were a little old-fashioned. Well, there's a bit of a leap from old-fashioned to sexual harassment. All I know is they worked together very closely and everything seemed to be going fine. And then, I couldn't believe it. She hated him. How did Mr. Shea react when he found out she was filing charges against him? I've never seen him so angry. He accused her of extortion. We heard he settled. The network settled. What do you mean? It was their money. They gave it to him so it wouldn't look like they were giving in to threats. Sets a bad precedent. How much was it? Three and a half million. Well, if there was nothing to the allegations and the network didn't want to set a precedent, why would they settle? There were rumors that she recorded some of the things he said to her on tape. Personally, I never believed the tapes existed. 